So we're gonna do a little video and show you how the Kubota tractor can be your best friend in the winter months while you're doing your deer hunting and processing and caping and all that kind of stuff. So got the monster right here. Got the uh, victim right here. <clears throat> That's Savannah's buck she just killed a few days back and uh, been hanging. We're going to cape it out. We're going to use the old tractor for some help. <laughs> All right, so we got the big brood over in the back of the mule. Got the tractor pulled up here. And you can use a hay spear for anything. If you ain't going orange, you better get started. So I'm gonna lift this dude up. As you can see, we've got him on the hay spear. And I wanna lift him up and got a little trick with some vice grips to keep the legs spread apart. And uh, you can skin him that way or I'm gonna cape him out. Take the deer to the processor probably i don't know i think i'm gonna fool with it myself today and then i'll have the cape off and take savannah's deer to get him mounted let's see if we can do a video of this i'm having to shoot this by myself today there you go So if you're gonna, thanks to my buddies at Mac Tools, <laughs> if you're gonna uh, use the spear for, you know, skinning or whatever, and you need those back legs to stay in a specific place, you just get you some vice grips and, sorry about that. Just clamp them on here, you know, inside or outside, it doesn't matter. If you don't want it to slide off, you can get out here toward the end and clamp it and then put that one where you want it. And you got it, you got it filed where you can work on it. And I'm just gonna be caping this out for right now. So, see, to show you how the old tractor comes in handy, no matter what you're doing, get a Kubota. Man, you gotta love it when you can use these machines all year round. Got the old buck hung up here on the spear. And I'm taking the hide off from good ways back behind his uh, front shoulders here so that the taxidermist will have plenty to work with. And this is called caping one out. So I'm just gonna peel this hide on down all the way to the base of his skull there and uh, take that part to the taxidermist and take the rest of it to get the meat worked up. Man, ain't nothing like a big orange tractor. All right, so with the help of my big orange tractor and the lift, we've got this thing caped out. <laughs> and take, getting ready to take him to the taxidermist and take the meat to the processor because I don't have a lot of time to work on this today. I've got some other people coming to go hunting, so I'm going to let them process it for us and uh i'll uh get you a little cut of us loading this thing in the back of the truck i'm gonna take that tractor and i'm gonna take that sucker right over and put it in the truck man it's so much easier when you've got the big orange tractor and the lift <laughs> so i've got the old deer covered up there and i'm taking him with the tractor and the lift over to the truck as you can see load him right in the bed of the truck take the deer to the processor come back and get the head take it to the taxidermist man it's just so easy when you got the right tools you need a Kubota is what you need thank y'all for watching <laughs>